Hey guys, so today I want to talk about a question that I've been getting a lot. It's John, how do I lose weight, right? What is the best exercises, activities? What can I do to really lose weight? Now, obviously, like I always say, you want to get your blood work done, check hormones out, make sure things are good there. You want to make sure you're getting a good eating plan, so good food sources and good macros, so good carbohydrates, proteins, and fats, and you want to make sure these are balanced. But that's all complication, right? Let's talk about some layman, easy things you can do to start your weight loss journey and get you some good results. So when we talk about what's the best type of exercise to really burn fat, right? To lose weight. So when we talk about this, we can name some different things. Cardio, right? That's a big thing, but swimming, running, these different things, stepper, whatever it is, getting the heart rate up, right? You're getting activity in, you're burning calories that way. That's a good way. Now, we always want to incorporate weight training. We know that the more muscle you have, the more fat you burn. And the more, you know, more your metabolism will work for you as you gain more leaner muscle, right? The lean tissue. This is going to help you guys in the long run as far as your metabolism in general. So you want that too as well. Now, when we talk about weight loss, when we talk about weight loss, we want to talk about getting enough physical activity per week, not just one day doing two hours of strenuous activity. That's going to help you, but that's not going to be good because you need to be consistent about what you're doing. So really staying on track to your goal and being able to get some exercise or activity at least four to three to four times a week. Okay. So you're going to want activity at least three to four times a week, at least 30 minutes per session. So whatever you want to do and break it up, do some cardiovascular activity, right? Do some weight training activity. You don't have to lift all the weight in the gym. You don't got to go crazy. You can start lifting just your body weight. What do I mean by that? I mean, you can do push-ups to start off. Start off with doing 10 push-ups, getting out of bed every day. If you're an amateur, you've never lifted weights in your life, you have no idea what to do, start with push-ups. Make sure the form is good. If you can't do a push-up, there's ways you can do baby push-ups to work your way up. Also, sit-ups. We want to develop a good core. We want to make sure everything is in balance and nice and tight. By doing sit-ups the correct way, you'll build a better core all the way around. And if you're having back problems or issues, this could help out in a major way for you. So make sure you're doing that as well. After that, you can always do pull-ups. Now you're going to say, I don't have a pull-up bar in my house. There's different things out there that you can purchase on the internet that you can put a pull-up bar on any door hinge out there. I know because I've done it. All right. So you can get in push-ups, sit-ups, and pull-ups. These are basic activities you can do at home, you know, build yourself a plan. But the main thing is to stick to the plan. So don't make the, the plan overcomplicated. I'm going to do this many macro. Like if you have no idea what a macro is, don't even start there. Start by doing better foods. You're starting to get activity and exercise, and then you're going to want to progress in anything you do in life. You're going to want to progress. Don't stay stagnant. Right. Always be learning, be open minded. When somebody's telling you something, unless it's flat out BS, you could possibly learn something from these people. It's the closed minded people out there. They get shut down and they usually um, they don't like what they're doing at that point. And if they think that they can't get any better results. They go right back to, you know what? This isn't working. I'm just going to go back to what I was doing. And that's being unhealthy. Right. All this is getting down to you being healthy. Physical activity is needed for the body for you to be healthy. It's not made to sit around. Your body was not developed by that, right? To sit and be lazy on a couch, watching TV, being on a computer all day and not doing anything. We already, most of us work in very strenuous work jobs as it is, whether you're out in the field, you're doing roofing, or even if you're sitting in a cubicle all day, right? Now, at least the roofer is getting some good sun out there. It might be hot. He might get a sunburn. But at least he's getting that sunlight and he has been active. It sucks for the person that has to work, you know, in a cubicle because they're sitting there most of the day. The metabolism are probably slowing down. And if they're not getting good food choices, they're just adding on top of the problem or issue. So the big thing is guys, be active, be smart about it. Right. And don't overcomplicate things. That's the biggest thing out there that I see. I see a lot of people get frustrated. Um, and turned off by the whole health thing because it seems like it's very complicated. I can't count calories. I can't do this. That's the biggest thing with weight loss calories in and calories out. Now, listen, 
all calories are not the same. So when I tell you calories in and calories out, don't say, listen, I'm gonna eat a cheeseburger that's 500 calories that's topped with all these different toppings and sauces, or I could eat a chicken breast or two chicken breasts and get the exact same amount of protein and calories, right? Those calories are gonna be different than the cheeseburger or ice cream sundae or whatever it is that represents those calories. So good calories in, right? Good calories out. That's how it should be. So just build that off there. Good food choice is where it starts. And then you can start counting calories and you can get all crazy with it and you can be experienced and uh, you'll be on your way to being a better, healthier you. So this is just some of the tips from me to you guys in Titan Medical Center. I appreciate all you guys. I hope this helps you on your weight loss journey. And if you already passed this, God bless you and keep rolling, baby. Titan strong all day, every day. I'll see you guys on the next Titan tip just for you guys. Later.